Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Today we're going to learn how to make dumplings from scratch, so let's get started. Flour is the most important part. Since we were feeding five people, we used an entire bag. It totally depends on how many people you're feeding, but a bag is pretty good. This step, you're going to need about 500 milliliters of water. Depending on how the dough feels, you can add more water, but not too much though. Next step is making the dough. Again, you can add more water depending on how the dough feels after you begin stirring it, as shown in the video. Eventually, you'll need to mash all the dough together. So, this process usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how much flour you use. When the dough is ready, there will be no sticky flour on the side of the wok, or very little amounts of it. That's how you know you're ready to proceed to the next step. About 15 minutes later, you'll realize that your dough looks like this, so it's almost ready. So now you need to let it breathe for about 15 minutes. So during this process, we will use a wet cloth to cover it. So the cloth is meant to maintain moisture and prevent the dough from getting dry. While your dough is breathing for 15 minutes, you move on to the next step, and that's getting your fillings ready. And we call those xian in Chinese. So all throughout China, dumplings are made differently. Some people use pork as a base, some people use shrimp as a base, but for this video, we're gonna stick with pork. So as you can see, now we're adding in some garlic, we add ginger, we use green onions, and then we add a little bit of cabbage, and then we add some salt, as well as an egg, and then we add a spice called wu xiangfen which translates as a five spice powder. Again, the amount of seasoning is completely contingent upon how many dumplings you need to make. So we also add a little bit of soy sauce, some cooking wine, and uh, yeah, we begin to mix it up, which is step seven. We stir it all together, and then it'll begin to look like this after about two to three minutes. So for the pescatarians, vegetarians, or vegans, or anybody that doesn't really like red meat, I suggest eggs. We also add a chopped up shrimp. For the vegetables, you can add something like corn, for example. I like to add a little bit of carrot sometimes. And basically, you add a little bit of salt. You repeat the steps that we did before with uh, the dumplings that had a meat base with pork. And then you add soy sauce and cooking wine, and then you mix it up. Okay, now that our dough is ready, we must make it into a shape that looks something like a snake, as you can see in the lower part of the video. Using a rolling pin, you roll the dough into miniature round shapes. Remember to use a little bit of flour to make sure that the dough doesn't stick to the board. It'll be a little bit troublesome if it does, so as you can see, we smash it, we use the rolling pin, and we're almost ready to go. So again, we're going to smash it. And then you're going to use some flowers to make sure that it doesn't stick. And then you start rolling it. Remember it again to use a flower, it's pretty important. And then afterwards, it won't be any bigger than the size of your palm, or shouldn't be any bigger. And you're ready to go. Once you've placed the meat inside, you can be creative. You close it up, you make sure it's pinched and nice and close so that the meat doesn't fall out when you begin to boil them. And then, yep. Your next step is boiling it. Usually the professionals uh, have very interesting ways of putting it together. All right, everyone, so now that we have our dumplings, it's time to boil them. So you need a pot of boiling water, and once the water is boiling, you gently add in the dumplings. Sometimes after we add in the dumplings, you'll notice that the water will stop boiling. That's okay, it's just the temperature of the dumplings is making everything cool down. Just let the water reboil. When the water is finally reboiling, you add a cup of water to let everything cool back down. Repeat this step two or three times, and when the dumplings are floating steadily at the top, they're usually ready to be eaten. Remember to stir everything. When everything's done, you need to add your sauce. And finally, you enjoy it with your friends. The final product should look like this. Happy dumpling eating, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please comment, like, subscribe if you like this channel, and see you next time. Bye.